Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. This time I've got um, a stout for you, okay? And it's, um, it's from a, a brewery I've never heard before. Um, they're called Lily Vanilli. And uh, this is a bottle of their Black Forest Stout. Look at the artwork on that. Isn't that wicked? Sort of eyes in the trees there. Black Forest. I love that. So Black Forest Stout. Um, ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat, oats, lactose, vanilla, cherry, cacao, hops, yeast. Um, yeah, a Black Forest Stout. Um, the only kind of experience I've had with Black Forest is kind of a Black Forest Gatto, which is normally uh, a, a, a cake, is a dessert that you have cherries and sort of, you know, other berries and things in amongst uh, cream and other bits and bobs like that. Um, it's it's a stout, so I'm I'm expecting the cherry. I'm expecting quite a chocolatey feel. The weather's getting colder now. It's uh, it's it's November, October. It's uh, you know October's been and done. Halloween's been and done, and people are Christmas shopping now, and it's definitely a lot colder outside. And a lot of the leaves are off of the trees already. So stouts are things that uh, are probably going to start popping up in my beer reviews a little bit more. I would have thought now. Um, so enough of my rambling, let's get this beer out of the bottle and see what we get. It's coming in at 5.5% ABV, this one. Um, did say there on the front of the bottle. So yeah, a little bit of smoke on the opening, by the way, with that one. Let's see, pause. That is a lovely looking stout. I can smell the cocoa and sort of roasted malts from here. I love that artwork. I'm going to leave that there so you can, uh, you can all see it. That's brilliant. Right, there is the Lily Vanilli Black Forest Stout. Uh, not quite... Totally black, there is the slightest bit of red sort of bleeding through the bottom of the glass on that one. Um, but pretty dark though, pretty dark. Uh, let's get an aroma. The head has dissipated pretty quickly on this one, it's pretty much gone. Um, let's get aroma. I'm getting chocolate, roasted malts, slightest bit of cherry on the aroma. Definitely getting that vanilla. A uh, little bit of hoppiness. Smells tasty. Let's get stuck in, guys. Cheers. Oh, wow. You get that cherry quite a lot on the flavour. It's creamy. You're getting the vanilla. You're getting the cherry. You're getting the dark chocolate. You're getting the roasted malts. Uh, that you would expect from a stout. Um, I really pick up that cherry and vanilla really well. Lovely mouthfeel, it's quite thin. Not as sort, of, sort of thick and gloopy as a lot of stouts uh, often are. This is quite thin, very easy drinking, lots of flavour. Still getting that kind of cocoa, the chocolate malts, slight bit of hoppiness at the back end. No real bitterness to it. Mm. That's lovely. It's got a lovely warming flavour. It's quite complex. But you're really getting that cherry and the vanilla. Cherry is probably the first thing you taste. It's quite sweet initially on arrival. Quite sweet on the tongue. Not over sweet, but sweet. And then that vanilla and the chocolate malts come in. It really is nice. And a nice bit of a hoppiness at the back end. Mm. So this is lactose in it. Which would uh, explain why it's kind of has that kind of creamy, vanilla-y kind of taste mid-palate to it but you're getting the cherry 
straight away. Then you get in the, the chocolate malts and the vanilla kind of mid-palate. And then there's a nice kind of roasted malts. Goes into the roasted malts flavour towards the back end. A little bit of hoppiness to it. This is lovely. Really nice. Oh dear. So hitting the spot right now. It's a chilly afternoon. It's turned into a bit of a wet afternoon this today. Problem is we're outside. So uh, being indoors with a, with a stout. Feels right. It feels right. Um, I haven't had this in the fridge. It's not chilled as such. Uh, but it's on, been on my kitchen side all afternoon. Most of the beers I don't have cold. I keep in the cupboard. But this one I had it on the side. Because I plan to drink it. It's been quite chilly in my kitchen today. So I would say it's just slightly colder than sort of normal room temperature. So slightly chilled. Ever so slightly chilled. Um, and I'm glad I've done it that way because I'm really picking up the flavours. If I had it cold, I might have masked one or two of them. Hmm. But that initial cherry sweetness is there at the beginning. It's not strong cherry. You know, you could almost, you could almost um, mistake it for um, like a raspberry, almost a raspberry uh, sweetness at the front. But uh, yeah, it is, it's, it's a berry sweetness. But that's what you'd expect from a Black Forest, you know. A Black Forest drink, a Black Forest dessert. Excuse me. But as I say, it's a fruity sweetness at the beginning. And they're dark fruits. Berries, cherries. And you get that chocolate malt. You're getting that vanilla-y, smooth vanilla -y taste. It's quite thin. It's quite watery. It goes down very easily. And there's that nice roasted chocolate malt at the back end. I'll tell you what, the flavour complements the aroma really nicely. They don't contradict one another. You kind of, as you take a sip, try to get your nose in, you know. Yeah, there's no lies being told with this beer. It's very nice. There's a very nice stout. I've drunk nearly all of it already. Very nice stout. Stout isn't my favourite style of beer. I won't lie, I am um, drawn to my sort of uh, lighter beers and golden ales and IPAs and things like that, lagers. But um, when the weather does get cold, I am uh, I will I will drink a stout with me darker beers. This is nice, very nice from top to bottom. I like the love the artwork, love the colour of the beer, the aroma of the beer is lovely, the taste of the beer is lovely. It's Moorish, it's very drinkable. That's a very easy drinking. Uh, stout this one I like that um, I'm going to give it a score I'm going to do a good one I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for Lily Vanilli just to remind myself Lily Vanilli and their Black Forest Stout very nice if you can find that I recommend it nice one um, yeah hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up um, yeah let me know what you're drinking as ever and I look forward to seeing you on the next one cheers guys